Hi, I'm Linda. I created a company called Paint Along. Check us out at paintalong.com. We have really fun painting workshops in Nashville and New York. So we've decided to give acrylic painting uh, a try. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a canvas or a surface to work on. There are many different choices in the canvases that you can pick up at your local craft store. They're already prepared too, so you don't have to do anything. You just get started. A good alternative is a masonite board, which you can get at your local hardware store, and you can have these cut into different sizes. Most importantly, you do want to prime this before you get started. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is choose your brushes. Make sure you choose brushes that are appropriate to the size canvas that you're using. This is a one inch shader brush or flat brush. We also have a half inch flat brush or shader. An important brush to have in your collection is a filbert brush. This one's got a rounded edge, a rounded top. And we also will choose a liner brush. These are for small details. And that's the brushes that you'll need to get started with. The next thing you'll need to choose is a palette. I've chosen a very flat, large palette. I like this one because I can mix a lot of colors on it. You can also choose a smaller palette that has wells in it to keep your colors separated. You'll also need to choose some acrylic paint. There are many different colors and brands and bodies to choose from when you get to the craft store, so it might be kind of confusing. If you'll just grab the colors that you really like, that's going to be a good place to start. You'll also need a few basic supplies to get you started. You'll need a cup of water. And this water is what you're going to use to thin your paint and to clean your brushes. Also grab a paper towel or a cloth. These are just small claws that we've cut up. We're going to throw these away later. And that's all we need to get started on our acrylic painting.